Hi everyone. Uh, this is Zie Yang. It is a great uh, honor to to present uh, our topic in Open Source Summit Japan. Today, my colleague uh, Hao Kun Xing and I will present our topic. Our topic is improving a boot up performance of container with overlay images in TE environment. This page shows the agenda of this presentation. In the first part, we will introduce the background and the motivation. We know that containers are, are, are largely deployed by, by users in both public cloud and private cloud. And if the containers are uh, running in the uh, public cloud, then there are strong requirements on the data, data, data integrity and the data security of users' workloads. So uh, there, there is a, a open source project named as Confidential Containers and uh, these days are very active. It will mostly rely on the hardware, hardware trusted execution technologies to protect the containers. And, uh, and uh, if the data is protected, customers still have strong requirements on the performance if they are, if they are workloads are deployed uh, in those containers. So we, in, in our presentation, we would like to address the performance issues when customers' workloads are deployed uh, uh, with confidential containers protection. So in the second part, we will introduce the uh, status of, of the current uh, confidential containers project. And in the third section, we will introduce our optimization work. It is related on how to accelerate the container boot up, which includes accelerating the multi key retrieving if there are multiple image layers of a container. And we will also introduce how to use some hardware accelerator technologies to accelerate the decryption operations on the container images. And in the last part, we will summarize what we present in this topic. The, the first part will be the background and motivation. This page shows the background and motivation. Customers who run containers on public clouds have strong security requirements on workloads in the following three situations. That is uh, data at rest. It means that uh, data are store, stored in the, uh, in the external uh, storage space and data in transit. It means uh, data are transferred in the network. And uh, the last part, part is data in use. And currently, there is a open source project named as Confidential Containers. It is designed to address such requirements in the three dimensions. And the Confidential Containers will mainly rely on some hardware trusted execution environment te techniques to protect the containers. And there are some uh, well-known TE techniques, such as Intel's SGX, Secure Guard Extensions techniques, Intel's TDX, Trusted Domain Extensions techniques, AMD's SCV, Secure Encrypt Virtualization techniques, also ANS CCA, Confidential com Compute Architecture, so with this project, customers' requirements 
on data security can be satisfied uh, gradually. However, another issue is not well addressed. That is the performance of the workloads because uh, even the data of customers' workloads are protected. Customers still want the performance of the workloads with little uh, impact. They do not want that the workloads will run slow, will run slowly compared with uh, the normal solutions. Actually, besides of the hardware TE solution, there are other solutions like homomorphic encryption techniques. Compared with those techniques, the hardware TE solution impacts the performance of workloads in containers less than other techniques. It, it is much better. However, Customers still have strong desire for good performance of the workloads deployed with the trusted solution provided by confidential containers. So in this presentation, we propose some techniques to address the performance issues. It is mostly related with how to quickly start customers' containers. We provide the following two approaches. When the containers are deployed in competition container containers, the first approach is that we would like to accelerate the retrieval of multiple keys for overlay images during, during the user attestation with the key broker service or attestation service. Secondly, we would like to accelerate the decryption of image layers through hardware offloading techniques. For example, we can use Intel's quick assist technology. In this part, we will introduce the background of the confidential contents, usually we call it by Coco. In this page, we introduce the characteristics, goals, and the core projects of the Coco. The COCO has three key characteristics. The first one is the data confidentiality, guarantees that unauthorized entities cannot view data. The second one is data integrity, guarantees that unauthorized entities cannot aid, remove, or add data. The third one is the code integrity, guarantees that unauthorized entities cannot aid, remove, or add code execution. The project has Five goals. Firstly, it hopes allow cloud native application owners to enforce application security requirements. Secondly, it wants the development of unmodified counters is transparent to the customers. Thirdly, it supports for multi TE and hardware platforms. Fourthly, it propels a trust mode, which separates cloud service provider from guest applications. The last one is the least privilege principle for the Kubernetes cluster. Currently, Coco has two implemented projects, include the Carter contents and the Enclave CC. The Carter contents is a VM-based content. The content process runs inside an independent VM. The VM will be protected by hardware such as TDX or SEV. The Enclave CC is a process-based content. The memory of the content is encrypted by Intel SGX. In one word, Coco aims at providing a security environment for the content. The Coco wants to embed the confidential containers into current Kubernetes ecosystem. This page displays an overview of the key components. Firstly, the blue component includes hardware and hypervisors that support confidential container. They provide the fundamental capabilities to launch a security container.
We call the confidential container by CC in the following parts. Secondly, the Coco relies on some service. They are colored by pink. The image build service helps to convert a plain text image into an encrypted image or build an encrypted image from scratch. The image registry stores encrypted images. The key management service manages the encryption keys. A testation service validates the CC running in valid TEE. Key block service is an intermediate service helping validate the CCs and the transforming decryption key. We will call it by KBC in the following parts. The first part of our work is helping the CCs to communicate with KPC to accelerate the decryption key retrieve. The second part of our work is accelerating image decryption inside the CCs with the hardware. Our optimization is implemented in the agent of cut contents or enclave CC. The left three pictures show the modes of the content. The left one, a TDX or SEV, creates a secret VM. The VM's memory and the file system is encrypted. The agent and the real application containers run inside the guest machine. In the middle one, an agent and an application run the host machine, but their memories are encrypted by SGX and some level ISs will help us to run the container with unmodified images such as Grammy or Ocube. In the red one, a normal VM is created firstly. The agent and the application run inside a guest machine and are protected by VSGX. The VSGX is the SGX device that is passed into the VM. At the last, the right list shows the task of the agent need to do. The agent need to download, decrypt, decryption, and store image. Our improvement is inside step 1 and step 3. In this part, we will briefly introduce some concepts in the encrypted images to help understand our optimizations on image decryption. Firstly, one symmetry key encrypts one image layer, and the symmetry key will be encrypted by another wrap key. The encryption information is stored in the annotations entry in the manifest file as the top picture shows. The key information is colored by yellow. The public options contains layer encryption algorithm of the symmetry key and the digest of layer at the middle picture shows. The private options is shown in the bottom picture. The private dot attestation agent indicates the symmetry key encrypted by a service called the attestation agent. The private options will be sent to the service attestation agent to retrieve the real symmetry key. The software of the attestation agent is got from a config file. In the private options, the real wrap key is represented by the key ID. The IV and the wrap type indicates the encryption parameters of the wrap key. The wrapped date is an encrypted symmetry key. In one word, the agent needs to send the private options to the service for every encrypted layer and retrieve the symmetry keys. Obviously, the network communication is too frequent. As a previous description, we can find the overhead on the encrypted images in CCs. The first is network delay on symmetry key retrieve. We know multiple 
layers send uh, multiple requests and uh, wait for response and uh, network delay blocks image on Peggy. The second one is extra decryptions on encrypted uh, image layer. Decryption options exacerbate uh, delay on image unpacking and uh, delegates extra workload to the CPU, giving this overhead optimization on image unpacking and boot deserves to be prioritized to improve confidentiality and the performance. In this section, we will introduce our optimization work. Generally, we propose to accelerate the bootup of containers with multiple overlay image layers. Firstly, we would like to seek the potential optimization point in current uh, confidential container solution uh, with the uh, Kata containers with Intel's TDX as an example. Then we would like to divide our optimization into two manners. The first part will be the multiple keys retrieving for different overlay image layers in one round during a testing process. The second part will be the parallel download of image layers and leveraging hardware-based accelerators such as Intel's QET as an example. This page shows the original diagram of container bootup in CC uh, V0 with Intel TDX technique. And uh, the original diagram is from page 18 in Samuel Samuel's stack. From this diagram, we can see that there is a confidential computing platform with TE techniques such as Intel's TDX or AMD's SEV. Then users can leverage Kubelet and invoke Container D and invoke Kata Shen version 2 and talk with the Kata agent inside the confidential virtual machine. And we can see there is about 11 steps to, to, to boot up the container containers. We can see that in the fourth and the fifth step, Kata agent will communicate with container image registry to download the images. Definitely, the image is already encrypted, so the Kata agent will, will communicate with key broker service and attestation service to get the keys related with the layer. We can see there will be the step from 7 to, to, uh, to 10. But we see that there are still some optimization spaces. For example, maybe we can parallel, parallel download the images from the container image registry. And also in the diagram, we just uh, get the key for, for each layer in one round. And uh, th this is not uh, the optimal solution. We would like to uh, download the uh, images together. Then the Kata agent will talk with key broker service and attest service to, to retrieve the key list. Then we think it, it can save some uh, times if the container have multiple multiple uh, images, multiple image layers. And this diagram shows our optimization approach in the uh, 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 in the fourth step and the, and the fifth step. We would like to uh, pull different layers of the image together. Then, in the fifth step, the color agent will, will download all the layers of the image in parallel way. After that, card agent will still communicate with key broker service and attest service, but but the card agent will send send the request to get the key list 
it means all the keys related with uh, downloaded layers and uh, the key broker service should send all the key list in one run and we, we think uh, uh, th this optimization is feasible and uh, will also be efficient. This page uh, shows that uh, in Confidential Containers project, it leverages image IS on container image operations. In the left uh, diagram, it is the original uh, usage inside a Carta agent. There will be the OCI crypto module in image management, and uh, uh, it le leverages uh, Scopy to download the container images from the image registry and uh, use the UMC tool to, to do the image unpacked rated operations. And the, the right diagram we can see that confidential container uh, leverages image IS in image management module. And uh, image IS is written by Rust language. So in next page, we will propose uh, the solutions to leverage uh, QET to accelerate the image operations uh, written by a uh, REST language. This page shows our contributions to improve the key retrieve procedure. The agent user create image eyes to be the image management modular. The left figure indicates that currently the agent will handle layers in parallel and uh, every layer will send a key retrieve request to the key provider. Multiple communication increase the network delay. The right figure shows our design. We will retrieve all keys in one shoot before the layer is processed. To implement the design, we need to add a benched retrieve API between the provider and its clients, and then make sure the symmetry key can be mapped to corresponding image layer. The page shows the other part of work. That is to balance decryption procedures between CPU and accelerators. The left diagram shows that currently all decryption procedures are carried by the crypto OCI crypt RS. It dedicates all of them to the CPU. It makes the CPU busy and may occupy time slice of other tasks. The right diagram shows our design. We design a balancer. It will delegate the decryption procedures to CPU on accelerators according to the attributions of the tasks. The accelerators can share the pressure with the CPU and furthermore it can handle a part of decryption task, tasks faster than the CPU do. Our design will decrease the workload on the CPU and accelerate the decryption. Accelerators can help decryption. Most of them provide C or CPP labs. But uh, Enclave Agent is written in Raster. There is a language gap between C and Raster. This page shows our contributions on wrapping the hardware C labs for the Rust applications. Currently, the wrapper crate would provide three kinds of functionalities encryption, decryption, compression, decryption, and digest. It is supported by QET. In the future, we plan to wrap more hardware to support more operations. The creator exposes low-level APIs, and the advanced users can use all API provided by the C labs. And we also code some high-level abstractor functions and expose their APIs. The high-level APIs handle all, all low-level details to use the hardware and only consumes 
necessary inputs. For example, if we want to encrypt a field with AES algorithm, we only need to provide the key, IV, and the field date. Different accelerator can be optimized by tuning on use case. Our rep grid tries to enable more features. For example, our rep grid leverages a synchronous operation feature of the QAT. The right diagram shows the asynchronous operation workflow of the QAT. In step one, the application calls the perform operation. The step two and step three, step four, delegate the operation to a QAT device. Then in the step four, five, the control is written to the application immediately. The application and QT will work in parallel. Once the operation completes, the QT will inform the application by callback functions. If we can take full advantages of features of this hardware, such as a synchronous operation of QT, we can furthermore improve the agent performance. The page shows the workflow of decryption in image eyes if we combine it with the QT. The procedure has four kinds of thread. The image eyes mine thread is responsible for scheduling operations and the other threads. The demo thread initiates the QET and the pulling thread pulling the results and invoke callback functions. Every layer will have a layer X thread. It prepares the layer date and send it to the demo thread. Let us go through the procedure. Step 1. Image eyes launch the daemon thread. Step 2. Daemon thread init the QET device. Step 3. The daemon thread launch the pulling thread. Step 4. Pulling thread enter into a loop to pulling and uh, invoke callbacks. Step 4. The demo thread waiting for layer date and uh, submit then to the QT device. Step 6. All keys is retrieved. Step 7. Image eyes launch thread for every layer. Step 8. Every layer send its date to the demo thread. Step 9. Layers thread existing. Step 10. The image eyes wait for all layer thread existing. Step 11. Demon thread wait for all callbacks finished. Step 12. The pulling thread finish is task and uh, existing. Step uh, 13. The image eyes wait for demand existing. Step 14, demon thread existing. At last, the image eyes continues to run. Now comes, comes the conclusion section. Let me uh, summarize uh, what, what we talk about in this presentation. We know that it, it will be the trend to run workloads in container with the trusted manner. Then the confidential containers project, which relies on hardware-based uh, TE te techniques, are uh, initialized uh, to address this issue. Besides security and the trust, customers still have expectation for performance even uh, with provided uh, confidential container solution. So in this presentation, we propose some performance optimization methods to accelerate container bootup in hardware TE environment. And uh, we provide the uh, following approach. For example, parallel image downloads and the decryption with hardware-based accelerators. And uh, we also provide the multiple key retrieval for different uh, layers in one round. Finally, we will continue our work and uh, commit to 
open source for the confidential containers related community in the near future. Thank, thanks for your attention. Due to COVID-19, we, we cannot attend the event face to face. If you have any questions, uh, you can uh, reach me and uh, my colleague Hao Kun through emails.